Today I'm going to show you how to set up your My Web folder by creating some HTML pages just using Microsoft Notepad. So you can either search for it, in my case I've got an icon right here on my screen and I'm going to start up Microsoft Notepad. The other bit of software I'm going to need is a browser. So I'll start up Firefox and you can see I've gone to the myweb.loris.edu site and it just pulls up an under construction view but I've already got a few things set up so if I go to my login ID WH051423 you can see my Loris College web page. All of this was created using Microsoft Notepad. So I'm going to minimize this for a moment. The third piece of software I need is the File Explorer and in the File Explorer I went to the iDrive, so I've got VPN access working right now. I've got a folder that was called My Web. Now this is something that the network operations staff has to set up. You can't just create this if you don't have it. If you don't see this on your iDrive, make sure that you contact the Loris Help Desk and they'll help you get that set up. So in my My Web folder, you can see I've got a whole bunch of different folders set up from past times. Um, you'll be doing the same kind of thing here. So you need to have a courses folder, just like what we did in that file structure assignment. So I'll double click on courses. I've got a folder for CIT 110 basics. So you should have the same. And then finally, since I teach this for a number of semesters, I created different folders for each semester. So I'm going to create one here. Call it 2015. 06 summer and I'm all set for the folders. So now I'm going to jump back to Notepad and start my page. So to create HTML pages it's fairly simple. All you need is a text editor like Microsoft Notepad and you start typing in HTML tags. The syntax for a tag is a less than sign. You type in one of the tags and the first one to do is HTML and then a greater than sign. Now these tags are nested which means as soon as you open one up at the very end we're going to have to close this so I've got an opening and closing tag. That's the basis of a web page. So I'll click on file, save as, Go to my iDrive, go to my web, go to courses, go to CIT 110 basics, scroll down a little bit, here's my new folder that I just created, 201506 summer, and the name of my file is index.html. That's kind of a magic file name. The web server looks for a file that's called index.html and if it finds it, it will automatically load that file. Now if you want, you can change this file type, just change that to all files, that way um, anything that you type after the period, the .html, that will assume that that's what the file type is and that's what we want to set up. So I'm going to hit save and I've got my file saved, you can look up on the title bar that's fine. The only problem is it's not going to display anything until we start adding in some information into our HTML page. So there's two parts to all HTML pages. There is the head section. So I've got an open and close for that. And there's the body section. Now notice that I indented this. Basically that's just for readability. You don't have to indent it, but it helps it. I would just use spaces rather than tabs. Um, it's just like putting in an extra line between paragraphs so when you're writing it on a paper. It's all for readability. So the header section is information about our web page. The body is the content about our page. So the information about it, that's what we call metadata. And one piece of metadata is the title. So I'll type in a title and say that this is 
CIT 110 Summer 2015 William Hitchcock. So you can make this title pretty much whatever you want. Anything in between that opening title tag here and the closing title tag there. This content is your choice. It's going to display on our web browser and it's also going to um, show up if, if Google indexes these pages. Now for the body I'll keep it simple. I'm just going to put in a paragraph and then I'll end that paragraph. Click File, click Save, go to my browser, I type in Courses, 20, um, CIT 110 Basics, 2015-06, Summer, and there's my page.